Now, you know how crazy this is? I used to call six-man football in Texas out in the weeds, and now I'm in a hard rock. Never thought my wildest dreams that I'd be hanging out here, man. Huh? You deserve it. Thanks, Dana. In 2022, Low Fan Fam became the first Asian American game official in NFL history. There we go, Ju. Who wants it more? It was a dream that began when he had the freedom to dream as a child in the United States. Being a kid in America is probably one of the greatest gifts there is. It gave me the opportunity to be a kid. I can't imagine being a kid in Vietnam or even Southeast Asia because you're expected to work, you're expected to do certain things, join the military when you're younger, them trying to teach you certain propaganda. But here in America, it gave us an opportunity to just kind of become a part of the American society and culture. You know, we didn't have much growing up here. My parents were always working, and what we did have was we did have Saturday cartoon, and that was awesome. <laughs> But Ben Pham's story doesn't begin in America. Before he was born, Lo's parents left Vietnam for Laos. Hundreds scrambled in panic, fleeing before the advancing communist armies. I was born in Laos. South Vietnam was being invaded by North Vietnam. We were just fortunate to be away from that conflict. That conflict followed them into Laos. When the North Vietnamese came over, they were recruiting men to go serve in the communist army. My mom and my dad, they made a decision to leave. They literally left everything behind, their house, grandparents, and we didn't even tell them because they were afraid that the communists may come back, <clears throat> come back and take my dad away. The journey to find refuge was difficult. Go up and down on a mountain. I don't know how many mountains until Almost get dark at night time. My family, five people sleep in the field, dark field. No food, no drink, you know. They arrived at a refugee camp in Thailand and spent the next few years waiting for an opportunity to come to the United States. The USA is the number one. I knew that because I read in the magazine. I just go, oh, USA, I, I don't want to go somewhere. In 1979, they made it to America, and Lo was introduced to football. I remember watching guys like Tony Dorsett, Tom Landry, and what he did for the Cowboys, and what they did in the 70s and the early 80s. He always played football. When he got better school, he said, Ma, I go to the, play the football in the front of the, uh, of the school, OK? I remember telling my dad that he was absolutely against it, my mom absolutely against it. I worry about it. he don't he, he had to learn for the, the English first, you know. But he, he he always football, football every day. I think he thinks about football every day, if not every minute that he's awake. And I just became addicted to playing, being part of a team. And I, when I was doing that, I didn't really look at myself as an Asian kid. I just I just wanted to be an American kid. You know, not an Asian kid that's playing American sports. I wanted to be an American playing American sports. Lowe played football for his high school team, and after getting his master's degree, he found himself missing the sport. I looked in the paper, there was an ad for Pee Wee football officials, and I answered it. The guy was so happy that I called. He said, bring a whistle. If you don't have a striped shirt, I got one for you. Come on out, and, let's, and I'll teach you how to, how to referee. Of course, I show up. I call him, he's nowhere there to be found. So I worked like three games that Saturday afternoon by myself. I officiate Pee Wee football on a one-man crew with screaming parents. Lowe moved on from parents to coaches, working his way up from Texas high school football to the Big 12 and USFL. The NFL noticed and hired him as a side judge this past May. My husband, he passed away. I would like to, he steal the light and he see Lowe. He will be happy, you know. He will be happy. Good luck, man. Have a great game today. Have a great game. To help support America's game. All right, let's go, let's roll, let's roll. All right, here we go. Stay off the center, stay off the center, fellas. To contribute to the American fabric, to come here and have the opportunity to do whatever we want to do. It's the best job in the world. It's the greatest feeling on earth. And you got to concentrate. Your mind's got to be in tune. Some of the life lessons that I try to 
teach my two younger boys now is to follow the same path. Feel the music. Hopefully do better than I did. Just listen to the music. My oldest boy, Bolter, I want him to experience the kind of love and passion that I have growing up in sports. Are you tired? I can tell the off season wasn't kind to you guys, was it? <laughs> Man, pizza, donuts, what else we got? Mom, dad, that's not good. <laughs> Easy. To learn what nice I've spiral. learned. Nice spiral. Just lifelong lessons. It's a privilege to be on a good team, be around a big group of guys. That's what you learn from. You know, you play sports, you get to know your teammates, you become good friends. I'm so proud of you. You worked really hard today. I always remind my kids that this is not normal, you know, for us being Asian Americans, because you're very privileged to live here. If we were anywhere else in Southeast Asia, we wouldn't have that same opportunity.